Hey everyone, one of the most common questions we get in the gym is how do I know what weight I should lift or when should I increase the weight that I'm lifting? Um, so we're just going to break that down a little bit um, because it, it, can be, it can be not quite intuitive at the beginning. So um, the most common thing I see when people start tra strength training is that once they learn the movements, they're actually lifting too light. Okay, um, So we want to lift heavy enough that we get adaptation from our training. Um, and so as long as technique is good, we shouldn't be afraid to pick up some of the, the heavier weights. And so um, if it's too light, when you can do all of your sets with no rest, so if you're just like rocking through them one after another, you finish four sets in five minutes, that's going to be a little too light, okay? Some other indications of too light, if you can carry on a conversation the whole time, okay? Sometimes I'm guilty of this because we start chatting and we're chatting as you're lifting. Um, but if you're able to talk the whole time, it's a little too light, okay? And then if you don't feel any of that, that muscle burn, you know, that, that sign that you're working at the end of the set, a little too light, okay? You might want to try a heavier dumbbell. However, it can also be too heavy, okay? Um, and so sometimes we, we do get a little ahead of ourselves and we pick up something we can't quite manage. And so we know if it's too heavy, if uh, your technique is breaking down or you're going to muscle failure at greater than about two reps um, from your target, okay? And so if you're not getting, getting within two reps, maybe too heavy. Um, if you can't maintain the form throughout the set, or of course, if anything is painful, um, then that's maybe too heavy. Uh, as an aside, if you're not sure what's painful or what's muscle soreness, we got another video on that. So just be sure to, to check that out because sometimes when people start tra strength training, they're not really sure about uh, is that painful or is that, that the right thing that I should be feeling. So be, be sure to check that one out too. Okay, in that Goldilocks zone, that just right, okay, um, I think it's just right when you actually feel like you need a minute to two minutes rest between each set. So you put it down, you're slightly out of breath, you're like, man, that was hard work, and you need some time before you can go again, okay, that's just right. And then you feel some muscle fatigue at the end of each set, but you're able to maintain your form, the technique was good, okay. So that's kind of what we're looking for, that's how it should feel. Okay, uh, the other question is when do I increase the weight? I've been working here for a little while. How do I know when I'm, when I'm ready to go up, when it's safe to go up? Um, so some key things to look for. So if you hit your target reps each set and you're feeling pretty solid. So let's say the reps this week are eight and you're doing goblet squats at 30 pounds and you hit all eight um, and, you, and you maybe felt a little muscle fatigue but not too much and you did that for four sets, then next time I bet you're ready to go up, okay? Another time we do periodize our, our reps, so another time that you want to go up is when our reps decrease, let's say from 8 to 6. That's an opportunity to, to test out a little heavier weight because you don't have to do as many. Okay. If you're trying a new weight and you're not sure how it's going to work out, first ask us or one of the coaches to, to watch it and, and make sure that we think you're ready too. But then you can also always decrease your reps for that set temporarily by 1 to 2. So if the prescribed reps for that day were 10 and you want to try a little heavier, it's okay if that first set you just get 8, okay, because we went a little bit heavier. We want to maybe bump that up to 10 over the course of a week or a couple sets, but, but, uh, but don't feel intimidated that you have to get all 10 if you're trying a heavier weight. Feel free to, to, to move down just a bit, okay? So that's some of the things that we're looking for out in our, our strength training program, and that's for that, that beginning piece of work, those first couple of supersets. Uh, when we're not working at a high heart rate, we can take that rest, really work on form, but also lift in some heavier loads. Okay? If you have any questions, just catch us in the gym. We're happy to help. That's what we're here for.